down this path and you'll find their dead. Good luck. And don't shoot any boars. <laughs> you think he's really forgiven me for shooting him? Trust me, lad. The old swine still carried a grudge. You'd know it. What happened between you? The usual. Miscommunication, conflicting loyalties, broken promises. Nothing to concern yourself with. different from the other realms. It's warm, like Spartalfon, but there's a kind of thickness in the air. Mm. Egros. Uh, what? The Egros. Greek. You I like it. Perhaps. Doubtful. Going for more loot, huh? I saw a forge back at Freyr's camp. Has Brock been helping them out this whole time? Ah, you haven't met Lunda yet. Who's Lunda? An old contemporary of the Huldra brothers. She serves as Freyr's blacksmith, keeping his team armed and outfitted. Oh, 
Another legendary blacksmith? I bet she has some good stories. Take caution, Atreus. What? Why? She is quite... friendly. <laughs> oh, nonsense. The lad's far too young for her taste. Uh, <laughs> what? You know, lad, this excursion into Vanaheim means you've now visited each of the Nine Realms. Huh. Guess you're right. Not many mortals can claim such a feat. Not many gods either. Even your father has yet to grace the halls of Asgard. I'm in no hurry to do so. Notice Vini said both Frey and Bigvir were captured. Bigvir is the light elf who wanted to learn more about that library in Alfheim, right? Correct. An exiled scholar married to a warrior, Bela. Why was he exiled? You'll have to ask him for the full tale. But I take it that he and Bela's quest to unite their people was frowned upon. Wait, is the Dark Elf? Yes. Wow. Well, that raises even more questions. Hope he's okay. On your right! Ragnarok begins when Skull and Hati catch the sun and moon, right? I said it was foretold, lad. Prophecy. Which, after our time with the Norns, we've all had quite enough of. But Odin still <laughs> believes. That's got to be why the Einaryar stole the moon. He's still trying to avoid Ragnarok. Or he prepares for it. Fights a proxy war in this realm to distract his enemies. Yeah. Or that, I guess. Alka!
I can sense them up there. It's got to be their den. Excited to meet Skull and Hattie, lad. I mean, I've heard all your stories. It's going to be weird meeting them in person. Legend meeting reality. At the very least, it shouldn't fail to entertain. <laughs> Uh, hello? I think they're sleeping. Well, there you have it. The legendary celestial wolves. Supremely entertaining, as promised. Remember their shrine? They didn't rejoin the sky until after the moon returned. And then chased an arrow across the sky. Right. Well, guess we go find the moon and put it back where it belongs, eh? As if that's a perfectly normal thing to say. The Aenor Yar played a part according to Skull and Hathi Shrine. Managed to stuff the moon inside a box, if memory serves. But it didn't say where they took the box. Aye, that's the rub of using prophecy as a map, isn't it? A bit sparse on the details. There's a war camp in the nearby village. A strong fortress to guard their bounty. We will try that first. But besides Hilda's being no. in the elves, not much army, really. No so beer girl was a soldier, once walking the path of a traveler. I imagine he's handy with that enormous broken sword of his. A traveler that doesn't want to kill us. That's nice. I didn't know they could do that. A new enemy. Stay alert. Yeah? Correct. Hmm. Fitting. There she is again. Guess they know we're coming. I can't believe no one's here. They hide. The Vanir aren't all hardened warriors like our dear Freya. Those who survive the warfare find it easier to hide in the jungle and use nature as their shield. Definitely an ambush. Yes. Hmm. 
that puts a dent in Odin's forces, at least for the time being. I don't think Asgard's running out of soldiers anytime soon. Ready to put the moon back where it belongs? Okay, yeah. That is a weird thing to say. Hey! Hurry! She's getting away! Come on! A double ambush? Okay. Times the charm. They are not smart. I understand. You know, what we're doing right now, all of this, it's almost exactly how we saw it play out back in Skull and Hati Shrine. The wolves are back in Vanaheim. We're rescuing the moon. Yes, I remember the prophecy. So, doesn't it make you worried? Everything we're doing now happened in the Yotnar Shrine. Remember our agreement. Prophecy will not dictate our actions. Yeah. Our allies need help. That is our focus now. Brother, you've taken a wrong turn. Our thief's gone skyward.
From hell on. Timed almost to grab this while I freed Garm. Uh, I was there, but I, I didn't know. And now you fight to undo the damage. Your guilt is misplaced. Yeah. Oh, no, you're right. We can return to the den through here. They will pursue. Keep your guard up. Father, how are you so sure we even have a choice about what we're doing? Doubt is a weakness we cannot afford. Who said anything about doubt? So far, we've done everything the Giants said we would. We make our own choices. Nothing forces us. Walking straight into Ragnarok. Isn't there any way to avoid fate? Your fate? What if we can't stop you from. Would you turn your back on the wolves? On this realm? Remember our agreement. The lad does make some good points, though. As long as Atreus lives, so be it. Does nothing. like inside their shrine. If 
I do this? Fate only binds you if you let it do what is necessary. Not because it is written. Elsa! choice lot they have a gift for us a way to call them anytime we need them Looks like they want us to use it at one of the altars. <laughs> Perhaps Freya will know. So in essence, they just gave us the keys of dusk till dawn. Not bad for a day's work. We should head back to Hildas Feeney and tell him about all this. Yeah? Yes. Back to the camp. Very good.